Maria Rosalia Rita de Castro, Galician pronunciation, Rosa Lee, A. E. Castro, the 24th of February 1837 to the 15th of July 1885, was a Galician Romanticist writer and poet. Writing in Galago, the Galician language, after the period known as the Seculos Escuros lit. Dark centuries, she became an important figure of the Galician Romantic movement, known today as the Rexardimento Renaissance, along with Manuel Curos Enriquez and Eduardo Pondel. Her poetry is marked by saudades, an almost ineffable combination of nostalgia, longing and melancholy. She married Manuel Merguia, a member of the important literary group known as the Royal Galician Academy, historian, journalist and editor of Rosalia's books. The couple had seven children, Alexandra 1859-1937, Aura 1868-1942, Twins Gala 1871-1964 and Ovidio 1871-1900, Amara 1873-1921, Adriano 1875-1876 and Valentina stillborn, 1877. Only two of Rosea's children married, Aura in 1897 and Gala in 1922, neither they nor their siblings left any children, and thus, today there are no living descendants of Rosalia de Castro and her husband. Their son Ovidio was a promising painter, his career cut short by early death. Rosalia published her first collection of poetry in Galician, Cantaras Galagos, Galician Songs on 17 May 1863. This date, 17 May, is now known as the Dia das Letras Galegas, Galician Literature Day, and commemorates Rosalia's achievement by dedicating, every year, this special day to a different writer, who must also write in the Galician language, since 1963. Dia das Letras Galegas is an official holiday in the autonomous community of Galicia. Relative poverty and sadness marked Rosalia's life, in spite of this, she had a strong sense of commitment to the poor and to the defenseless. She was a strong opponent of authoritative abuse or abuse of authority and an ardent defender of women's rights. Rosalia suffered from uterine cancer and died in Padron, province of A Coruña, Spain, on 15 July 1885. She is buried in the Pantheon de Galagos Illustres, a pantheon mausoleum in the convent of San Domingos de Bonneville in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. Topic. Legacy Rosalia de Castro is today one of the unquestionable poet laureates of Galicia, Spain. Highly educated, expected to speak and write in Spanish only, she took the bold, unconventional step of writing her early poems in the Galician language. Her defiance earned her the contempt and spite of many that deemed Galician as a Spanish dialect fit only for the illiterate and the churlish. However, Rosalia's defiant gesture won her the love and admiration of the common folk, who spoke Galician at home or on a daily basis. Schools in Galicia, in Spain, in Russia and in Uruguay, libraries, cultural associations, awards, parks, folklore groups, choirs, compositions of her poems, a Galician traditional morning song adorned with the lyrics of one of her poems, a professional sports team, monuments at home and abroad, a theater, restaurants, a label of white wine, lodgings, a banknote formerly in circulation, a postage stamp, a FS-98 Iberia Air Airbus A340, a sea rescue plane, a school train and many streets have all taken her name. <laughs> <laughs> International translations Small Stations Press published Rosalia de Castro's Galician Songs in English, translated by Asterisk Aaron Moore, in 2013, 1. The more translation of De Castro's New Leaves is expected to be published by Small Stations in September, 2016. Edwin Mellon Press also published in 2010.
The most thorough and representative volume of poetry and prose from Rosalia de Castro (1837–1885) ever translated into English. In 2007, Shearsman Books published a paperback of selected poems translated by Michael Smith. In 2004, Luis J. Rodriguez wrote for the literary magazine Babel a translation and analysis of two Rosalian poems, Nasen Cando as Prontas Nasen and Negra Sombra. In 1991, State University of New York Press launched an English anthology edited and translated by Anna Marie Aldaz, Barbara Ann Gant and Anne C. Bromley. In 1977 Kathleen Culp Hill translated several Galician poems as part of her work entitled, Rosalia de Castro. This book is still available from allbookstores.com. In 1964, the Spanish Ministry of Foreign Affairs published a selection of Galician poems translated into English by Charles David Lay. This book may be found in Spanish rare books libraries. In Japan, the first volume of Rizalian poetry was translated in 2009 by Takakazu Asaka, which is available from DTP Publishing, Tokyo. In the 1990s Katsuyo Ohada wrote two articles in the journal, The Review of Inquiry and Research, at Kansai Gede University Osaka, Japan, on the Galician poet, El Inconsciente Creativo de Rosalia de Castro, and En las Orias del Sar, El Mundo Intimo de Rosalia de Castro. Editoria Chrysalida, in 2008, published an anthology of Rosalia's Galician poems in Portuguese, translated by Anditias Soros de Mora. There is a statue in her honor in the Galicia Square in the city of Porto, Portugal, by the sculptor Barata Feo September 1954. In the French-speaking world Fol Avoine in 2003 offered a French anthology of Galician poems translated by José Carlos González. Recognition The name Rosalia de Castro has been used by several institutions, public spaces and or parks, and on consumer goods, thus showing the social influence and impact this poet has had on the region. Today, it is possible to find schools and universities named after the writer in the Spanish Autonomous Region of Galicia as well as other parts of Spain. Russia, Venezuela, Teatro Rosalia de Castro and Uruguay also have places that bear the name of this distinguished poet. Furthermore, there are numerous parks, plazas and streets, cultural associations, prizes granted to people that are intimately linked with the Galician and Spanish languages, libraries, folk groups, choirs, and even a wine with the name Rias Baixas. There is also a plane from the airline Iberia, as well as an aircraft belonging to the Maritime Safety and Rescue Society Salvamento Maritimo, have been given the name of Rosalia de Castro. Moreover, there are a multitude of monuments, commemorative plaques and sculptures dedicated to her in many parts of the world. On 23 October 1979, the last of the 500 Peseta bills was printed, being that in 1987, this bill was to be substituted by a coin of the same value. The bill had the portrait of Rosalia de Castro displayed on the obverse side, created by Pablo San Pedro Melito. On the reverse side were the house museum of Rosalia located in Padron and a few handwritten verses from Rosalia de Castro's work Falas Novas. With the printing of this bill, Rosalia de Castro became, along with Isabella I of Castile, the only female not allegorical to be placed on the obverse side of a Spanish bill. Works Each year links to its corresponding year in poetry article or year in literature article. Topic. In Galician Poetry Cantares Galagos 
Falas Novas 1880, Prosecantos da Minha Terra I 1864. In Spanish Poetry La Flor 1857 a mi madre 1863 en las orillas del sar 1884 prose la hija del mar 1859 flavio 1861 el cadaseño 1863 ruinas 1866 las literatas 1866 El Caballero de las Botas Azules 1867 El Primer Loco 1881 El Domingo de Ramos 1881 Padrón y las Inundaciones 1881 Topic Settings in Music Osvaldo Galajove set Lua de Scullerida, in Three Songs for Soprano and Orchestra, 2002. Anton Garcia Abril set Quattro Canciones sobre Textos Gallegos, 1957 to 1962. Octavio Vasquez set En Cornas and Como Chove Miudinho, and wrote two instrumental scenes on Nosa Senora da Barca and E.U. Ben Vin Estar O Maucho. Adolfo Salazar set three poems for voice and piano in Trace Poemas de Rosalia de Castro, 1915. Settings by various composers in the Choral Public Domain Library, ChoralWiki.